Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd share with you how to spot fake Juicy Couture bags. I can't even tell you how many times people have reached out to me, messaged me on various platforms that they have received or have been scammed from a fake Juicy Couture bag and that they regret shopping with a you know, particular seller because they were not transparent about you know, the Juicy Couture bag. So, you know, when you shop with me, just know, you know, that I don't sell any fake bags. If I do decide to post this, I'll definitely let you guys know, like, you know, this is not authentic. You know, I'll always be very transparent and clear about that because I don't think, I don't think it's a win-win situation for anybody involved. So it, it always upsets me when I hear that you've been scammed and that people were not transparent, that we were, people weren't honest with you. Yes, I do price my handbags high and that's a controversial topic in itself, um, but they are very hard to find bags. They are rare. I don't like force anybody to buy them. Every purse I've sold, they have made an offer or they have messaged me trying to purchase the bag and I'm always willing to work a price that works for the both of us. Somewhere in the happy middle, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm always willing to negotiate a price. That way everybody can have a beautiful, you know, authentic Juicy Couture bag. Now some people don't really care if it's authentic or not. Some people just care, like want the look. They're just going for the look. Like this one, I knew, you know, it was I knew it was not real, <laughs> but I like the color on this. It is blue and pink. Like, I don't believe Juicy Couture made a purse like this. So, let me show you kind of some stuff to look for. That way, if you don't want to buy from me, that's okay, but at least you have the knowledge and at least you know like what to look for in a bag that are red flags. That way, you don't spend hundreds of dollars on a bag that is not authentic because that is like literally the worst message I can get like when they feel horrible from purchasing from another seller or something like that and like I said I'm not saying you need to buy from me or purchase from me but just so you know that if you're buying from someone else these are some of the signs to look for um, that way you don't get scammed and all of that. So let me show you guys. So this is, like I said, not authentic. It's really pretty. It has the Juicy Couture logo here. I have a ton of fake LV bags and I don't care. Like, I really don't care that they're not real. I love them just as much as they're real. And who could tell, really? Who could tell that they're not authentic? Let's take this with a grain of salt. I just hope that it's helpful in some way. Um, for the buyer, the customer, and I think that you guys deserve to know that, especially if you, you know, support me and all the different platforms. You guys, like, literally follow me everywhere. Like, you guys go on Instagram, you guys go on my Poshmark, on my Depop. You guys follow me everywhere I go, and I, I appreciate that so much. So much more than you'll ever know, because it really means a lot. Okay, so, I just keep talking, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't believe... Juicy Couture made this colorway. I truly do not believe that, but let me show you some signs on this particular one. So, the heart, as you can see, right off the bat, this heart right here is not bubbled. Do you see how flat this is? Like, this is a huge red flag because Juicy Couture bags have a bubbled heart. So, this right here is way too flat. Let me grab the grab an authentic one so you can see so this one right here is authentic and even you know the easiest way to tell for me that something is authentic is the bubbled heart and the way the J looks this is you're not you can hardly see the J but this is not flat it has bubble to it like it's not completely flat it's got like a bubble to it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the bubble but it's not super flat also, the easiest way for me to tell if something is real or fake is the charm. The charm is substantial. The charm itself just tells you right off the bat something is authentic. This is authentic. 
just the quality, the juice, it says Juicy Couture on the uh, hardware, Juicy Couture on the little key uh, ring. So yeah, right off the bat you could tell this is authentic. This one is bubbled, this one is not bubbled. And also the J. You can't even really see the J on this one. And just, it's not the right shape of J. <laughs> um, and also look at the heart itself. Like the heart, it doesn't even look like a Juicy Couture heart. So there's so many things that you can look for. So make sure the heart is bubbled. If it has one, not all Juicy Coutures have a bubbled heart. But if it has one, make sure it's bubbled. Make sure the J, you can see the J first of all. You can't even see the J on here. But. Yeah, the shape of the J, um, there should be like stitching around the J, if you can see it's stitched, make sure it's stitched. This one is, there's no stitching on it whatsoever. Okay, then we have the interior here. It does have the crown Love Juicy print, but this, this is not it. This is actually a newer print over here. So... Let me show you, see if I can find one that has the hearts, I mean the crowns. This one is not authentic and it's also like, not substantial. It's not like quality made. You could just feel like it's not, the quality is not there on this bag. Whereas this one is heavy, substantial. You want to feel, you want to feel the, you know, the quality in the bag. It's supposed to be heavy. A Juicy Couture bag is supposed to be heavy. Okay, so another thing you can look for is the shop pocket. The shop pocket, I'm telling you, that is going to be a great sign to look for. A thing that looks like this. Okay, and it's almost like engraved in, like if you f run your finger over it, you can feel that it says shop. Then we have this one, also not authentic. Uh, this one's really cute. I like the this pink and the brown together. Again, I don't believe Juicy Couture made this colorway. Um, the J on this one is really good. It's actually stitched. You know what gave this one away is the shop pocket. This one's really pretty. I, I'm probably gonna keep it. But this one says hello in red. Okay, so all of those are red flags. This should not be red. And then again, it has that same fabric as this one. It's almost more yellowy or like tan. This is not authentic. This is fake Juicy Couture. So definitely keep your eyes peeled. Daydreamer bags do not have zippers on them. They don't come with zippers. Well, most totes don't have zippers, but just very few styles have zippers. Um, a daydreamer should not have a zipper. That is a straight red flag. Okay, so let me show you another real one because I feel like I'm showing you the fake and it's easy kind of to spot the fake. Here's the bubble tart. It's literally like raised up. Okay, that is one of the signs I look for when I'm looking for Juicy Couture. This one right here has the crowns. So let me show you. I feel like it's just like cheap, cheaper fabric. As opposed to this one, you can feel the quality on this, okay? And then look at the shop pocket. This one right here, it's just night and day okay very easy to spot fakes some of the harder ones to spot are in bowler style bags they made some really really good bowler style dupes or like you know fakes so let me show you my bowler bag okay heavy substantial um you want to look at this one right here is engraved um, let me show you the inside of this one. So it's so pretty. 
also has the crowns and all. I have it stuffed really nicely. See, but some of the bowlers, some of the bowler bags, the fake ones, also have the crowns and everything. So there's some really good fake ones out there. Because Juicy Couture was pricey back in the day, and... I don't know, maybe maybe they will bring back the fakes. I don't know, you guys, because everybody wants them. I'm surprised the companies that make fake bags are not, like, all over the juicy stuff. Because, I'm telling you, they could be making money. Okay, so we have the Hello Pocket right here. The little lipstick pocket. Again, you can feel the Hello engraved into the fabric. The stitching, always look at the stitching. The stitching is literally on point. It is beautiful. Look at the stitching, look at the hardware, look at the um, crowns. Usually it'll have crowns, juicy love, fabric inside. They do have different tags. So like some have this beautiful tag. You know, this is authentic. It is so stitched on very nicely. This one's from 2002. This one is a cutie pie. These are real, okay? Just want you guys to know, but I don't even see it. Oh, this is a tag on here. So it says, Juicy Couture, have a juicy day, love and she and pee. The J is way too close to the, to the stitching right here. It's like really smushed in there. So you don't want that there should be some room there. Those are some of the signs that I look for in my bags. The biggest ones that I would point out are the bubbled heart. Always check out the bubbled heart if it has one. Like I said, not all Juicy Couture authentic bags have a bubbled heart. So make sure you keep that in mind. Also, make sure to um, take a look at the hardware. Now, unfortunately, a lot of bags, people will take these off. They'll take the, you know, original charms off of the bag, so it makes it a little harder for the seller to figure out if it's authentic or not. So just be mindful of that. And also, the chinzy fabric on the inside, you will be able to tell when they photograph the inside. If they don't want to photograph the inside, then that's a huge red flag. Like, why don't you want to show me what the inside of the bag looks like? Yeah, those are some of the signs that I would look for in a Juicy Couture bag. Make sure the bubbled heart is there. Make sure the J looks good. You can see how chinzy it is. Even on a photograph, you will be able to tell. Uh, make sure the lettering on the pockets are not red or blue or green or any other color. They should, they should all look. They're they're either are silver or they're gold. Shop pockets, okay. Um, and yeah, make sure the hardware. You could also, you know, check with the hardware. It's substantial. It's heavy, you guys. This is a really nice vintage handbag okay whereas these you could they they weigh nothing they're like paper and they look like paper even when they're photographed so i hope i'm able to help some of you you know and you guys won't get scammed in the future with some of these tips that i'm sharing with you on how to catch the fake juicy couture bags because there are a lot of them if you ever still don't know or you still feel weird about a bag like if you still like unsure about some signs then it probably is a fake bag you know i always tell my girlies if you're not sure about something if something looks weird or off and you know the seller is asking for a significant amount of money and you feel weird about it not being real then it's probably not real so those are my little you know, tips on how to spot a fake juicy bag. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps somebody out. And um, if you have any other questions on how to spot a juicy bag, I'll buy more fake bags for you guys. <laughs> I'll do it all. Okay, I'll do it all. So thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me today. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!